<sighs> Even though I don't like a chat, we got to keep it going. We got to do it. Man Mariner shirt. Indeed. Indeed, indeed. I haven't been wearing jerseys too much lately. I don't know why. All right. So, got a couple of guys signing their ELCs and coming back, except for Braden Yeager. Everybody else signed. I think we just got to figure out the right line combinations, really. That's our big thing. Can we just figure out the better combos? Braden Yeager, I'm willing to go eight and a half million for eight years for you because the salary cap keeps going up. It's the rules for this is a fair game. Again, it's only it's draft to glory style and only players that have defined character issues in the game. So and you can see that on their scouting report before you draft them. All right, bunch of dudes took their qualifying offers. As expected, we did just lose that great goalie coach too. I don't know if we'll have the the luck to bring him back. Every time Tuki swears, he takes a shot. <laughs> Could you imagine? I wouldn't make it through the night. I wouldn't. Shout out to Jabroni King with the gifted sub. The Doug Dimma. Perfect. Perfect, really. Jack, give me something to talk about because we got to scroll all the way for 6,000 years. We gotta scroll, and scroll, and scroll some more. Wouldn't make it to midnight, right? We need to max out this offer. Give ourselves the best chance of signing the best coach possible. My goodness. My goodness, my goodness. We're almost there, a million away. Will I ever attend in the Bruins game? I hope so. I, I very much hope to get to at least one this upcoming season. And I'm sure I'll I'll end up pulling that off. Obviously the big thing is goddamn the amount of the amount of travel I've had this year already. It's like I just want to stay home. <laughs> so let me stay home for a little bit. Favorite movie. I put that guy as goalie coach. That's okay. He could still accept it. Uh, McNeely, we need to bring you back. You're just too damn good. Let's go AHL head coach. What is my favorite movie? I don't know if I have one, man. Have I seen Chef? No. Why are there such low limits on franchise and create a player amounts? Because you touch yourself at night. Um, just that's the way the game is, dog. It's the way the game is. That's all I can say. I don't know if I have a favorite movie. I don't know if I do. I'm going to be honest. There's nothing that comes to mind. Oh, God. Why does this take 17 million years to scroll? Help. <laughs> Help me. <sighs> If EA puts me through this again. If EA puts me through this bullshit again for another year. I swear to God. Ugh. Tookie, what's your number one request for franchise mode? To never have to do this again. Just let me input individual numbers. It's the year of our Lord 2023. Fucking spare me some time. Oh my God. Anyway, helps you bond with your community, I guess. You'd be a good lawyer, Hawks, to try and find a way to put a spin on it like that. Larger in-game titties. That's that's a fair request, too. That's a fair request, too. But only if I have the ability to just slap a, you know, a pair of bolt-ons to whoever I want. <laughs> Jabroni King, thank you. Fun fact, by the way. Um, I swear to God, I was in, uh, Vanta Airport, leaving Finland. And, uh, I was at one of those little kiosks, you know, you get your tickets, it's all good. Um, and then the people behind me and the fiancé in line, I swear to God, they were smuggling basketballs. It was impressive. It was impressive. Why do they have to be bolt-ons? Hawks, if we're gonna add big titties to the NHL 24... 
then they got to be as big as they can be. All right. Go big or go home, as they say. That's just the way it works. If I became a gym leader in Pokemon, what type would I choose? It would be all Snorlaxes. And one Surfetched. So normal type. Add sex to NHL 24. You want to sell copies? <laughs> Penetration. That's the key. <laughs> Get out of here with this ultimate team bullshit. All right. Well, Traverse accepted as, as coach. That's good. McNeely's here, too. Oh, God. Five ninety nine to get Connor McDavid to express an emotion. And then when he does, we're all going to call it cringe on social media because we're great people. Look, if triple XXX or BMXXX could be made, then damn it. Uh, let's see. Goalie coach. We got another goalie coach. Yeah, all right. So we can't sign anybody yet right now. Actually, no, we can. I can. I can move people around. So I'm guessing Hill will still be the guy. Let's uh, bump you down. Bada bang, bada boom, bada boom, bada bing, and how you doing? Back to goalie coach for you. Ba boom. There we go. We're fine. Why aren't we EA? <laughs> All right. Let's see if we get any offer sheets here. This has been madness. Chubarov gets an offer sheet. Obviously, we're going to match it. We'd get no compensation. So, chuby dooby doo, welcome back. Welcome back. Trig doesn't look like he's going to get any offers. Dag accepts. Yeah, I mean, you know, play be a pro, score four goals in a game like Tomas Hurdle did, and then you just have the ability to helicopter in celebration, you know? Who says no? Well, our big fish, I was hoping, would... Fetch us some draft picks. Did not happen. So go ahead and sign those two. What are we going to have for this season? There we go. Are we over the floor? Nope. We got to sign somebody. Who's the oldest to ever do it? That's actually kind of still bad. And that's Neil Pionk. Neil Pionk. Congratulations. Welcome to the team for a butt ton of money. <sighs> so this season, whoops. What's our team going to be? Chubaroff and Dag in goal. Okay. Ankvist will get the call up as the third goalie like Garcia. Be the outright starter. Got to call up Trig. Shard actually got significantly better, which is nice. Two, three, four, five. And then it's either Toivonen or Strombo, depending on who's a better fit. Strombo's a, Strombo's a year older. This is probably his only chance. Probably Strombo's only chance. So we will give him that opportunity. Forward-wise, gotta call up Jordan Gavin. Send down Peterson for the moment. So that is 10, 11, and 12 with Richard. And if we go off of highest rated, that's the way to do it. So let's take a look. And no guarantees we keep the same coach. But Chubaroff and Dagan goal. I mean, more intrigue. Hammond, Winkler, McNabb, Strombo works for me. So forward-wise...
What are we going to do for the forwards? We've tried Mango with a variety of players, but we really haven't tried him with Ragnarsson. And I think that's the way to do it. Honestly, if we go Meechkov, Jaeger, and Gavin together... Can put Stevenson on that higher line to try and boost him up before he settles into like solid third pairing guy. The other option is Marcel Richard to try and get him to develop. And yes, chat's about as weird right now as you would expect. I like Dorian Para a lot, but the penalties are a huge fucking issue. Okay. I'll be run Cole Brown at center. You can say podcast, but you're only allowed to speak if you're reading chat. That's basically what it is, yeah. At this point, I think we run Stevenson and Barky together and put Richard on that top line. I think we do it that way. Nietzschekoff, Jaeger, Gavin, Mangoes. We have Richard, Ragnarsson, Mangoes, which apparently is worth a, a minus, but hey. Yeah, we don't even know if our coach will still be our coach, but that is what we are going to attempt this season. We do have pretty good line depth. It's just, will it work? AHL-wise, we have Garcia and Marcus Lindstrom. Defensively, all of these guys were drafted by us. Tukio's a low seventh. So we'll get medium six Delzato in there. With the low elite and a medium four. Medium six, low four. A couple of medium sixes. Toyvan and Tamarinus, Byers, Delzato. That works. And then forward wise, anybody in here who's not supposed to be? Landon Ortiz. Uh, left wing. Congrats to Stefan Scrady, who is in. Is there anybody that needs to be out? Cold soft's not ours. All right, cool. Uh, so really quickly, let's optimize what this team is going to look like for this season. And we will... Take it from there. So top line is going to be Drake, Mazaros, Alexandrov. Second line. Miura, Lieb, Schroeder. And then here it can just be based off of OVR. So it'll be Matsumoto, Peterson, Bang. Sharma, Purrington, Pittis. <sighs> and now we hope, we hope and we pray that this is the season to really step up. Is Uriel Hill still the best coach for the job? 63. Scheme fit for Hill. Hillis is a 64. Right now, Hillis is the guy. What about Traverse? 63 for Traverse. Spalling is a 63. Chat's a fun time right now. And West Guard's a 55. All right. I mean, it could be any of the A pluses. Who has the best teaching and influence? Hillis is the best coach for the job. So congrats to Hillis. You are the guy. Uh, 
All right. And then Lynn, AHL assistant coach, Jackson Lynn. So let's sit here and scroll for six years again. 16 million years. 16 million years. That's how long it's going to take to scroll. 16 million years. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Got to sit here for 17 years and a half. This takes for fucking ever, boy. I just want to scream. Oh, my God. Today, please. It's actually going to go to 9.9 .9 million for a max offer. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I'm assuming Will Smith got medium late because he was drafted fourth overall. Correct. Correct, Amundo. You nailed it, Chief. It's funny how in Hut this goes fast. Is it funny, Henrik, or is it is it the worst thing in the world? <laughs> you know? And on the list of worst things in the world, this isn't at the bottom. It might not be that close to the top, but it's certainly not at the bottom. Oh my god, it's, it's so dumb. It is so... So dumb. But... Something makes money. And other things don't. Guess which one doesn't? Guess which one doesn't? Oh, God. Alright, uh, we need a... Do we need anything? Yeah, we gotta... Let's see. Ice, NLA, DEL. We need a check Extralaga. And then we'll be fine. The check. Extralaga. There we go. All right, we're good to go. We're ready for another season chat. At least I think we are. As close as we're going to be. Plus two for the top line. Plus five for the second line. The over-under will be set to 39 and a half wins for this season. That defensive combination is not ideal. But uh, we're going to leave it because I'm never really too worried about those positives or negatives. AHL is looking okay. What are the ratings? I mean, we finally started to look like an NHL team in terms of ratings last year. Is that the case? As Jackson Lynn is on as an assistant coach. Is this finally the year that the Greenville good dudes... Make some gosh darn dang headway. Our AHL teams made the playoffs twice, but got uh, eliminated in the first round. Ratings for the year. 86, 84, and an 80. That is good enough to make the playoffs. It is. That is good enough to make the playoffs. It's just a matter of whether or not we will. I'm not going to hold my breath, but that is the situation. Also, Brady Kachuk, the captain of the Calgary Flames. 71% <sighs> locker room chemistry out of the gates. Can we actually do something about it? Can we actually find some success? Please. Please, please, please. Let this be the year. Let this be the year that we start to break through. Tyler, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome in, right, as this game is uh, going to ruin my life. Weaker draft class than normal, which means it's actually going to be good. So keep that in mind. 
as we continue just to wait and see if any year will be the year that we actually break through. Twelve, eleven, and zero as of December first. The lack of overtime losses, you know, would hurt any chance we have of making the playoffs. So again, also not great. Oh man, and right as I say that, we do start to get overtime losses, but we also start losing a lot in regulation two. 16, 21, and 3. It's not looking good. We're going to stop the sim right here after a 5 nothing win over Minnesota. Ragnarsson, leading scorer right now. We're actually not in last in our division. But we are 10 points out of a playoff spot in terms of top three. Chubarov continues to struggle in goal. Can't send him down because he's waiver eligible. Morin and Trigg are not working out well together. Our defense in general is not working out well together. We'll scratch Chuba off for Enkvist. Hamannick and Winkler have been abysmal. So we will go with Hamannick and Strombo, McNabb and Winkler. Morn and Trigg honestly haven't been great together this season either. What the hell can I do about this? I know the answer about what I can do about this. I mean, fuck it. Coaching staff doesn't even matter at this point, right? It, literally the best coaching staff essentially you can possibly have and it still doesn't matter. Um, we'll go more in Hamnick, Strombo, Trigg, McNabb, and Winkler. This is really no better fit. Actually, I guess there would be a slightly better fit. Uh, we'll go Winkler, Trigg, McNabb, and Strombo. No, we started off with McNabb and Strombo. Winkler, Strombo, McNabb, and Trigg. Forward-wise, who the fuck knows? 29 points for Richard and the top line's not bad. Ragnarsson on 40 points. Dorian sucks. He's so bad. And then that second line is hardly clicking the same way. Abdulkader has four points. Alright, Abdulkader to the lower line. Again, Dorian Para still takes way too many penalties to play on a higher line. What the fuck are we going to do? What are we going to do? I hate this. I hate this right now. It's the biggest issue with the team. Despite the offensive talent, they just don't score enough. And our defense hasn't fully developed yet. Trying to decide if I want to keep Richard on that higher line. I like the idea of Brown and Barkey working working well together. Let's go with Brown, Barkey, Richard.
Jaeger and Gavin have been playmakers. I swear we've tried this combination before too and it didn't work, but uh let's see what happens. It does eventually just get to a point where it's like, well, there's nothing you can do and all the little behind the scenes combinations, the game just uh, has decided you haven't put in the combination correctly. That's all it is. It's just blind guessing. It's like when you forget your fucking school locker combination and you just start trying random shit. Eventually some random shit might work or you just give up. <laughs> We're not close to giving up yet. But, I feel like that's a pretty apt comparison. It's just where we're at right now. Oh, man. Still hanging at around 500. I have a hunch whoever bet the over will feel uh, pretty happy with their choice. Relatively soon. Let's list ourselves as buyers to... Up the team's confidence that helps on the way. Dylan Cousins is now a member of the Atwa Senators. Noah Dobson. Honestly, the big trades, the rosters are so fucked at this point. Who cares? Who cares? Thirty three wins. Thirty five. Thirty six wins as of April first. Make it thirty eight as of April fourth with two games to go. I have getting damn good at setting the line, aren't I? So we would have to win two out of three to hit the over. It is on pace to be our best season yet. And technically, we are four points out of the playoffs with three games to go. Technically, it's three, but the Bruins have a game at hand. The Vancouver Canucks beat us in a shootout. The St. Louis Blues destroy us in regulation. So we will fall short on the under in our final game of the seasons against Florida. And we fell one win short of the over. Still our best season to date at 39 wins. But it's still not enough to break through and make the playoffs for the Greenville good dudes. As we'll have our latest draft pick yet, we were the 20th of 33 teams. In terms of the scoring, Ragnarsson on 75, Gavin on 72, Meechkoff, Mangos on 60, Braden Yeager on 54, Stevenson 49. I don't like this. Oh, I don't like it. I don't. Rich, by the way, the song goes out to you. Defensively, 47 points for Trigg, 42 for Morin. Trigg was a minus player, though. And in goal, 914 for Dag. The backups were abysmal. <sighs> it feels like a matter of time. Until we break through, but it really does suck having very talented players that just aren't playing up to their potential. Connor Bedard scored 88 goals. Eighty-eight. Eat your heart out with just seventy-two, Connor McDavid. Next highest was Matthews with fifty-seven. Clearly, that's what we're missing, is a Connor. 
Defensively, 97 points for Bouchard, 91 for Sandine. Damn. Goalie is winning us. Georgiev and Edmonton again. Third year running. Seven shutouts for Derek Butler. Save percentage king among starters. Montreal's Ken Mitchell. Dag was there as well, but won't have the record to win the Vesna. Rookie race is going to go to Marcus Niederberger. The 25-year-old on the Vegas Golden Knights. Damn. So no playoffs for us again at the NHL level. At the AHL level, the Richmond Americans have also missed out. So that's another pretty quick uh, sim to the drafts set up for us, isn't it? I hate it here. I hate it here. I hate it here. We just can't break through. We can't break through. Let's see. Winner of the Stanley Coop. It was Philadelphia last year. It's Los Angeles this year. It's the LA Kings win yet another Stanley Cup in their franchise's history. Seven games over Carolina. North Kakalaki. I don't even know if the LA Kings would be. Well, it's Connor Bedard and David Posternock on the same. Jesus. Jesus. Bedard, Posternock, hints on the same team. Warrior, what's up? Oh, my God. Defensively, J.J. Moser, 10 points. I mean, shit, you don't even need a good defense to win with fucking scoring like that. And Derek Butler wasn't great. 904 save percentage, but it's enough. So the Kings win. Connor McDavid wins the Art Ross and the Hart. Despite being second in scoring, right? He was first by a point. Bedard had 88 goals and continues to get screwed. Sandine wins the Norris. Bouchard got screwed. Kyra wins the Bing. Niederberger wins the Con. Uh, the Calder Con Smythe to Connor Bedard. Georgiev wins another Vezina. Lundell wins the Selkie. Five different winners in the last five years. Ted Lindsay to McDavid. Rocket Richard to Connor Bedard. Any familiar names in the AHL? Straka tore it up again. Dennis Reynolds. Tony D'Angelo, top defenseman in the AHL. Yeah. Not too many familiar names. Michael Bunting was there for a minute. wonder how many Bedard had in the playoffs. We did look a second ago. 16. Osternock at 18. <sighs> so we're not going to have great lottery odds. It doesn't look like there's anyone in the top five that we could have drafted anyway. So it's fine. <sighs> All right. Well... Where are we going to be? We are going to be picking 13th. 13th. As Connor McDavid retires at 36. Wow. McKinnon at 37. Hintz, Meyer, Horvat, Lindholm, Burakovsky. Yeah, Connor McDavid retires. Well, well over a point per game and 838 goals. Yeah, retired at 36. Defensively, Seth Jones is gone. D'Angelo. Neil Pionk. And in goal, Vasilevsky is gone. Hellebuck, Jari. And the best of them all, Alex Nedeljkovic's eyebrows. Beautiful. Beautiful. Coach Besser. Rock Besser becomes a coach. All right. For the love of God, I, I need something. I need some optimism. Please. Please, please, please. I need some optimism here. There's one in Isaiah Piero Zabadal. 
What might be a medium nine. This is psychological torture at this point. This is psychological torture. <sighs> well, yeah, of course Billy Lowe wouldn't be available to us, would he? Three guys Stefan and Ross, Nick Hillman, or the guy who we're clearly going to take, Isaiah Piero Zabadal. Who is a medium 664 overall. Oh, God, Aranis, what's up? I'm doing well aside from, again, the psychological torture that this game is putting me through. Uh, round number two. Aren't you glad you didn't have the St. Louis picks? I'm not happy either way, is what we learned. The player we kept isn't going to live up to his potential. And the picks haven't necessarily been there to have us overly regret our situation. It's just a shit sandwich all around, Crash Andrews, let me tell you. It was at this moment he realized just what a stupid idea it was do this. At least it's a brilliant, brilliant reminder. Please? Next round, Amari Lackey. Looks, uh, looks likely. So before that, it is either Joachim Leitinen four years out, allegedly. Maurice Plus four years out at 17. And Stefan Enroth It's going to be the Canadian Maurice Plus. Low four. Third round, we already know our guy. And it's going to be Amari Lackey of the Red Deer Rebels. And hopefully this is a steal. Because, man, we need it. We unplug ye old controller. <laughs> 
So that sound you just heard uh, was the sound of my uh, Logitech G920 racing wheel calibrating. Um, it's a wheel that we use for racing games. Like F123. But not a pair of socks because it helps with my traction on the foot pedals. Uh, we'll go through the rest of this draft on the wheel if it'll let me. I don't think it'll let me. Oh, there we go. Hello? Ah, oh, it won't let me go through the rest of the draft on the wheel. Really? Boo. Boo. Oh, the whole joke is ruined. Ruined. Bullshit, EA. How are you not optimized for wheel-based gameplay? All right, well, round four. Yeah, you wouldn't be available, would you? Can't even give me the backup goalie, but a good starting overall. Oh my gourd. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be back here, you know. I'll just be here. Slowly but surely losing my gosh darn dang mind. Because tonight has been a mental chess match with this game that I am not going to win. <laughs> I'm not going to win it, am I? Not even getting drip fed at this point. They are trying... To starve us to death in terms of, hey, can we get a draft pick? And the answer is no. It is either Nelson Mayer, the mayor of being a mid hockey player, five years out at 18, goaltender Dakota Ronning who's five years out at 20, or right-wing Samu Lakso. It's going to have to be Mayer, because Ronning is a waste of a pick for us. As we willingly have to take a medium bottom six forward in round number four. I guess I could have technically taken the other guy too, but... What are you going to do? Is there anybody else? Didn't we still have the other guy on our list? No? Cool. For those about to score, I Altex, thank you for the 22 months. <laughs> it's always nice to see who listens to the podcast and who doesn't. Ugh. How are you? I am, uh... Fucking depressed. Liam Tarnstrom. Please. God, Jace Burroughs. At least there are two players who, you know, fit the bill that we might be able to draft. I think these draftees have old tweets. Let's be honest, it's old TikToks now at this point for this generation. <laughs> I 
This is torturous. Absolutely torturous. Well, uh, let's go for Luis Keller, I guess. How many picks do we have left? Three? We won't even go for Luis Keller. We're going to go for... Uh, our scouts say he's worse, but central scouting, we got to go for Tarnstrom. Come on, Liam. I'm going to guess low six. Go for Jace Burrows. 